All right, so on lesson 17, we're working with if else commands. The first half of lesson 17 doesn't actually even talk about if else commands yet. It shows you how an if command uh, is really a conditional. So for example, here it's telling you that you're only collecting nectar from flowers. You can check any space to see if there's a flower. Uh, the bee will need to collect nectar once. So that's part of the trick to this is you already don't have to to worry about collecting nectar more than once. So I know if there's a flower, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna get nectar and, and I'm gonna put that whole thing within a while path ahead. We've learned these in earlier ones uh, or in earlier puzzles. So essentially what I'm gonna do is move forward, which is gonna put me here. I don't know what's there. If it's a flower, get nectar. So the if command is a, is a one-time conditional. It only checks it once. So if I hit run, it's gonna go through and then everything opens up. So if there's not a flower, it checks it. And if it's at that if, if there's not a flower, it just skips and repeats it, right? So now here's the trick. When you get up to lesson nine, this is where the if else starts coming into play. And you'll see if else shows up right here, if, or they call it do else. So if I put that out here and say, you know what, if I'm at a flower, I wanna go ahead and get nectar. Otherwise, I want to make honey because right here it says sometimes it covers a flower, sometimes it co covers a honeycomb. You got to really read the directions for this. So this is still really only useful if it is only one of those two things. If there's a third thing underneath that question mark, this command will not work. It'll actually freeze your program. So if there's uh, a pumpkin underneath here or if there's nothing under here, you're not allowing for that right now. You're only saying, hey, it's either going to be a flower. Otherwise, I need you to get honey because I know it's going to be a honeycomb. It's very definitive. And I kind of use the same sort of set of things where I'm going to go in here. I'm going to put it inside while a path ahead. I'm going to move forward. All right. So when I move ahead, here's where you're going to see it not work. I'm going to press play here. It moved forward. It checked. And it said, if I'm at a flower, get nectar. Otherwise, make honey, except I'm sitting here at a blank spot. So that doesn't work. So for this particular one, I actually need to manually move myself forward. And in fact, since it's so manual, I don't even need to have that intelligence of checking while a path ahead. I'm just going to say, you know what? Move forward twice. Then you're right here. It's either going to be a flower or honey. Great. So it's still not real intelligent. It's a very simple conditional. Uh, but that's where it's introducing that to you in lesson uh, 17.